Oh, so, wow. Well, it's good to have you here. It's good to see you. It's Who did you back. pick? Just go ahead and Who tell Who did I pick? You want to yeah. know? All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whispered in Tiffany's ear. <laughs> She's really interested. She won't tell anybody. <laughs> I, um, I, can't, I can't reveal that, but it was, uh, it was a crazy experience. Are you nervous about revealing? What happened to your head? You, you like this? This little scar here? Yeah. That Harry Potter this scar. You know magic. Do not say that. You know magic. Actually, I do know magic. No! <laughs> hey, I love her. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> this, this happened about halfway through filming, and it was a crazy freak accident. Uh, it, it, was, it wasn't even a cool story. It was a golf cart, and I banged my head. As I was getting in, the golf cart wasn't even moving. Hulk smashed a glass into my forehead and just sliced it You did it, it to up. yourself? I did it to myself. Shouldn't you be flying a plane? Uh, I, I swear, yeah, I'm good. Other than that, it but... would have been better if you said one of the girls got jealous of the other girl threw a I shoe know, and it I hit know. you. I know, like... I know. Actually, when I first told the girls, because I walked up, I had this huge bandage, and it was mm. literally the next day I went on a date, and I had to explain it to them. I tried to like make up this cool badass story, but that's the truth. Yeah, well, the truth is the truth, and that's yeah. all there is to it. So, how's it going? Uh, well, like you shot this when? How long ago did you wrap? We finished uh, about a month ago, a little, little over a month ago, end of November. Okay. So. Have you been in hiding? Uh, no. I went back to work, like, within a week. I had a trip, um, went back. It felt really good to get back in the sky. And Well, you guys are both in the airline industry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Do people <laughs> lose thirsty? their... thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. Oh. I'm gonna get you in trouble. You got a girlfriend? You gotta tune in to find out. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to say. Oh, boy. I bet you I make more money than her. <laughs> 100%. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to be a sugar mama. I ain't trying to be a sugar mama. Like that, that. So you're, uh, when people see you flying their plane and they watch the show, do they, are they surprised? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. It's, it's really cool because I always say bye to all the passengers as like they're deplaning and just like thanking them and it's really cool and they kind of realize and just I felt a lot of support, so much love. Um, you, you say know. thank you to all the passengers when they get off the plane? I've never had a pilot do that. Really? Not one time. Well, you you never pay attention. They always do that. Do they you do? just rush off yeah. real quick. Sometimes yeah. they, yeah, I'll stick unless, my head Unless it's a really bad landing, but most of the time, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, really? Yeah. So then you don't want to hear <laughs> from just, anybody. Like, keep that door closed. Yeah. Like, it wasn't me. Well, how about yeah. that? Yeah, that's how they pick up girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you an excellent point, Tiffany. I know. I used to work there. <laughs> that is really good thank insight. You. Oh, yeah. thank you. So insight you grew fun. up. The Bachelor Mansion, for yeah. those who don't know, is in L.A., and it's in the far west valley. And you grew up, like, right near there, like five minutes away, right? I did. And actually, fun fact, I just realized this, actually. Colton wasn't actually the first Bachelor to ever do the fence jump. You jumped the fence. <laughs> so this is, I did it like 10 years prior. When I was like 18, me and my friends, we tried to sneak out of the mansion one time because we were huge fans of the show. And uh, we got caught and like ran away real quick before we got caught, but. You and um, your teenage friends were huge fans of The Bachelor? I, I, not huge fans. You know what it was? It was, it was when Jake, the other pilot, he was The Jake Bachelor. Jake Pavelka. Yes. Yes. He got me into the show. Oh, because of the pilot thing? Yes. Wow, and interesting. And I became a big fan after that. And Your then, dad's yeah. a pilot, right? He is. And yeah. your mom was uh, an airline, a flight attendant. Yeah, that's what I meant. And, <laughs> Tiffany, you're gonna like this. Peter still lives with his parents. Hey. <laughs> How do you think about that? Oh, boy. Nope. <laughs> there goes that. <laughs> I, look, look. I, yes, I do. I'm, I'm owning it. And uh -huh. I think what a lot of people have to realize is I come from a Cuban family, Cuban culture. It's a little bit different than, like, the American culture. Yeah. Uh -huh. and it, I, <laughs> it is. And it's not... Not, it's not unusual for family to live together for a long time. How long are you through. planning to stay? I'm, like, a couple more months. Just, oh, that's then, it, huh? Yeah. Oh, then you gonna move in with her? <laughs> You're trying oh, to go nigga. live off of her, huh? <laughs> that's no, I'm, I'm you excited, gonna move her into your mouth and daddy house? No, that's, that's not happening. I, I promise you that. This vodka is strong. <laughs> Where's my drink? So let's go through, because uh, this is something, this is a tradition now on the show, and as I mentioned through right here, my wife really makes these picks. I have no sense. I'm, I'm really, really curious. I'm, I'm more of an expert on Dancing with the Stars. That's, that's what I'm good at. But my wife okay. is very good at watching the show the first time. Sometimes she doesn't even watch the show. Sometimes she just looks at a picture. And she goes, this is going to be the one, this is going to be number two, this is going to be number three. And I am going to, and we will watch your reaction to see. Oh, boy, poker face. OK, so here we go. We need a drum roll or something like that? Your first three picks. Three picks. And then you pick the winner, too. I'll pick the winner right. as well. Hannah Ann. 
Anna Ann, you kissed her on night one. She got the first impression rose. She made you a painting. You seem to have a thing for Hannah's in general. She lives with her parents, too. Hannah Ann <laughs> will be in the final three. Mm. Next, Madison. First one-on-one -on -one date. You brought her home for your parents' vow renewal, which you called the ultimate date, and she seemed to like your family. She did. Madison. All right. And Kelly. You met her a month before the show in the lobby of a hotel. You seemed very excited to see her. You even lifted her up onto the bar and kissed her. <laughs> she is an attorney, which means she could easily sue you if you do not select her. <laughs> and very let's true. see. We are going to say the final, the winner, if you can call it that, is going to be... Hannah Ann. We will see. Are, are you reading anything right now? Am I giving anything away? I think it's number two, because he was smiling really big. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but maybe he was doing that to try to, try to throw, throw us you off, off in some uh, way. Well, so you see, Tiffany says... But he turned says, a little red, though. Like he's seen her naked uh. or <laughs> <laughs> Well, can you oh, answer that about? question? Have you seen any of these women I'm not going to go there. I'm not going there. Look how red he's turning, though. He's always beating fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I love about white men. What a... <laughs> Same here. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll be watching you very closely. We'll be watching you at all times. We'll be all inspecting right. your every move. We'll be debating it and dissecting it and doing all those things that are totally unnatural for other human beings to do. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you we for having me. We will see you at the end of your journey. That's right. Peter, everybody, the Bachelor. Yeah. The Bachelor Monday nights at 8 on ABC. Tiffany Haddish, Like a Boss, open Friday. We'll be right back. Williams. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.